One morning on the island of Thunder, Thomas, James, and Percy were at the sheds doing nothing. I'm bored, said Thomas. What are we supposed to do? How about try pulling your coaches Annie and Clarabelle? Or try shunting some freight cars. Eh, I'm not in the mood for doing those two things right now, puffed Thomas. Just then, Caroline arrived. She was carrying Sir Tom Hatt, who came to see the engines. Hello, you, said Sir Tom Hatt. I came to see how you guys are doing. Yeah, we're doing nothing much at the moment. Thomas, you will have to pull Annie and Clarabelle for today. And you will also be carrying Caroline with you too. Because she is going to visit the island of Sorter again. Yes sir, replied Thomas, as he went on the turntable to fetch his coaches. Once Thomas was already buffed up to his coaches, Caroline was there. Oh, you must be Thomas the Tank Engine. So Thomas had told me about you. Of course I am Thomas the Tank Engine. Hey, why don't we say we go for a race? I can't. It's because my radiator is broken down. Don't be so daft about your radiator. You can still go on without it. But before Caroline could say anything else, Thomas was already off. Soon Thomas and Caroline were briefly racing. Come along, come along, huffed Thomas. I'm hot, I'm hot, cried Caroline. Please slow down, please slow down, they cried. Before anyone else could respond, Caroline had stopped. A conductor forced on the brakes, then the train had stopped. Why did I stop? asked Thomas. You have not been paying attention to Caroline. She was breaking down and you need to help her now. She only goes so fast. Oliver is well and ends well, but Thomas, and he started to back up. And he stopped where Caroline had stopped. I'm sorry if I didn't listen to you. And I'm sorry I can't keep up with the race. Well, instead of racing, I'll have to follow your speed. And so, they started up again, and started to go at the same speed. Back at the sheds, Thomas told Percy about his day. I was racing with Caroline, and then she broke down. So I stopped and came back to help her, and I went on the same speed as her. It just goes to show that if you can't keep up with someone, then you should slow down and keep up with them instead. And that's why you should always stick with them.